Yep, I'll get around to it. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Pop. This is of the Mission Thrift Store in Guelph, which is in the southeast corner almost of the city. Um, from where I travel, it's easy to travel through rural areas and suddenly you're upon it. It's not right at the edge, but pretty close. Here we go, we're going inside. Here's the collector's showcase cabinet. They've decided to segregate these for, for those. There's glassware, teacups, and costume jewelry, watches. I wasn't sure what those were offhand. Books and other items. The dot system is in use for pricing. There's the uh, glass cubes with the Decorative objects, glassware, ceramics, the usual kitchen ware. A good size store. It's a fairly good sized uh, collection of books, CDs. Uh, there's a couple of boxes of LPs at the floor. Um, there's some children's books as well, of course. Some older books and some really old ones. As you saw, they placed them at the front. They have a racking system, industrial racking system with the smaller furniture. So it does actually create some floor space where the larger stuff is. But and then we into the shoes, men's clothes. We'll be back to here in a moment because we're going to do the search for the shirts at some point soon. Here we've got the glassware and other decorative items. Looks more like woodenware. Uh, there's a bit of a fascination in this area that appears f with some of the African art. Now these dimes that are embedded in acrylic, they have the date downward, so you don't even know what year the, those, di those dimes are from. Here we are in the search. The potential business attire for Hawaii. This is a uh, a really good contender for a Hawaiian shirt to be. I didn't choose that one, I don't think. Another one. Sometimes they're not made in Hawaii. Uh, sometimes they're actually made in the Caribbean or for the Caribbean. So uh, it varies as to where some of these things are geared for. So. Onwards we go. We're searching again. Oh yes, we're going around. This is where this, the racking and the clothes racks come together. This is the collection of t-shirts and knit tops, like golf shirts. And um, then we go around the corner and these were the smaller sizes as I remember. Another one of these kind of business attire type. 
Uh, a little more demure is all I'm saying. Then over there, on this way, yes, there may have been. And that was it. Then they're wearing the jackets and pants. And here we are, we've got a box set for Word Perfect sitting on the shelf there. I really like liked uh, Word Perfect as a software. Yeah, they had the uh, their electronics, some clocks, orange face clock. Mm. Maybe if you're into heavy into MCM decor, that would fit. And here we go. There's the rack. We saw it from a close-up angle. This one's a little further back, so you could see kind of things they had on it. The upper shelf is bulky items that just aren't very heavy. Quick lampshades and such. Teacups and saucers. Furniture, bag of wall of bags. Well, on closer look, it wasn't more than a, a cheap copy of something better well known. And the larger furniture, the pillows are in the cubes, the throw pillows are there. And here's the area for the larger furniture and the artwork along the wall. Those are the bags back there. So they got quite a bit of room for larger furniture. It's a large size store. Um, it's surprising. Uh, ah, the old round to it. This is only, a, like, this is like the second one I've come across. I did actually get this one. The first one I ever saw was on the a door of a professor's office. Everybody says, oh, I'll get around to it. Yeah, okay, well, some of us actually did get around to it. How's that? And here we go. This is a uh, sewing and notions. And along with some knitting. There was some potentially uh, vintage fabrics, some patterns and books. And Back to some of the glass and hard goods. As you can see, they're right side by side. So it's, it was easier just to jumble them up the way that the um, editing goes. It would have been very difficult to separate them all into one department and then into the next. Some of the other clothing. I was headed for something else over at this side of the store. Oh, I was, there was a gentleman there who was wearing a Hawaiian shirt as well, as was I. So you can see it's a good sized store. I'm gonna swing around and see most of it there. The small appliances were there. Some of the uh, sporting goods, uh, TVs, electronics, uh, kind of a jumble. We have uh, some more sporting goods in another area. Slightly different appliances, like a vacuum cleaner here. And, uh, oh, back to the bags. Yes, here we are. We're taking a closer look at it. Mm. It, if, even if it says that, I'm a little leery about it. Be oh, Axian. No, I'm not well, something I'm familiar with at all. So, there it stays. It's a couple of walking sticks and canes. These are vintage um, housewares. And they've investigated somewhat to see what the selling price of some of these are, and they've based it, based it on that. They are not charging you what the, I think they had the eBay comparisons. So here we are. Some more of the artwork with the uh, large furniture, small statuary, sets of uh, 
dishes. And we're right near the cache. So these are sets and slightly more precious items. Some more books. They're not, the, the books are not all in one place. So don't think I'm jumbling it up that way because I'm not. Um, they're in at least three places. And then we get into the jewelry then in the glass case. Uh, this is on the cash out area, nearby that at least. So they've got, they kind of get you walking back and forth in the store. There's good and there's bad with that. It might be good for them, it's, it's a bit tough for us. Thanks a lot folks, hope you enjoyed watching this. We'd appreciate if you gave us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and maybe a tinkle on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.